Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com. In this quick video, we're gonna show you one way that you could look for and try to find a leak in your roof and then fix it. So we've got a mock up here that we did some other videos on and uh, I'm gonna make our leak fairly obvious. I'm gonna drill a bit of a hole here. I'll go up here. So I'm gonna make it so it's gonna be easy for us to find, but in your case, it may not be. And, and usually just by going up on your roof and looking around, you're not gonna see an obvious spot. So uh, one way that you can uh, kind of look for this leak or try to identify where it's coming from is if you got somebody that can go up in the attic space or the underside of the roof and watch, while somebody else goes up on the roof with your garden hose and you want to just start uh, wetting the roof area by area starting at the bottom edge working your way up and uh, sometimes it's going to take a fair bit of, of water so you don't want to go too fast over it uh, because one problem that you can have is that the uh, you know you've worked your way up and you're actually past the spot but now that you've got all this water draining down here it eventually finds its way in so uh, either way if, if the person uh, underneath the roof system uh, is looking well and close enough they can usually uh, spot it eventually and uh, then help to direct you back to that area so we've got a very obvious spot there uh, the cameraman's going to shoot up underneath this mock-up I'm just going to take like I said just take a garden normal garden hose I'd climb up on the roof and I'd want to start right down at the eave and I'm just kind of you know maybe doing a four foot wide area or so and I'm just hosing back and forth kind of work row by row there's that row move up to the next one just so I'm getting lots of water flowing through there and uh, if, if you did all this and you didn't find it what you might have to do then is actually get a little more aggressive you know maybe it's a driving rain that's finding its way in a really really uh, tight spot that's not going to be easy to find so you may have to actually directionally spray the water in or whatever and and uh, find it now sometimes too this won't always work for you but because sometimes what will happen is the water might be getting up under the shingles up higher but it's running down you know on the membrane or on the felt paper that's under the shingles until it finds a you know an overlap or something it can get through and then eventually it finds its way even just to a seam in the plywood on the roof but uh, you know this is one way to try to at least find where that leak might be coming from so hopefully without getting the camera wet what I would normally do is like I said be on the roof uh, I'm gonna move my drill and uh, I'm gonna lay a fair bit of water to it and then then your helper would be underneath looking trying to watch for the water coming through and once they found it uh, give you a hauler so now your your helpers found that spot and uh, gives you basically what that does is once they've hollered at you and and you know kind of the general area gives you a chance to examine more closely in that area that they figure it's coming from. So, you know, you start looking around, usually your, uh, your shingles are gonna be stuck down because they're, you know, they will have been on your roof for a little while. So the heat's got them baked down, but you wanna just look for spots where there might be a nail poking through, or maybe uh, something's fallen on the roof and punctured it. Uh, and, and maybe the shingles are just plain wore out and uh, you're trying to extend them another, another season. So you're, sealing some gaps and cracks that have developed. In our case, we've obviously got that easy hole to find there. Depending what kind of a problem you find, it might be as simple as uh, using some uh, roof, um, uh, roofing tar or uh, roof cement and going around and sealing up in that area and just uh, preventing the, the moisture from getting through. A lot of these uh, roofing cements are okay to use in wet conditions too. so which makes it kind of handy because you can then work away even though your shingles are wet right now at the time. But once you find that spot, just you know, fix up a, a pretty decent area around it. Make sure it gets sealed up. And uh, if you want to, you can run the, run the hose over it again after it's sat for a few minutes 
and had a chance to just cure up a little bit. Um, like I said, a lot of these are, can be used in the, even in the rain. You know, if you've got a rainstorm going on and you've got a leak, if you've got a tube of this handy, you might be able to run up and actually find your leak right in the middle of that storm and get it sealed up before it causes too much damage. Okay, so that's, that's ba the basic, one of the ways you can do it. Uh, like I said, it does take a couple people. You definitely want to have somebody on the roof and somebody down below or you're just not, not going to find it any other way. So, so hopefully that helps you out with your leak. Uh, come to the forum if you have any questions about it or maybe you've got a bit of a funny story about how you found your leak on your roof. Post it up there too, just uh, you never know. We like to see what everybody else's ideas are for finding leaks. So thanks a lot for watching.